Hello everyone, I am Adarsh, lecturing with Yashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence. My subject, Accountancy. In Accountancy, I have taken topic called Ratio Accounting, RLS Accounting Ratios. This is the third session. In the first and second session, we discussed about what is ratios, advantages, limitations, and also the types of ratios. In the first type, liquidity ratio, we have done few problems also. It is a continuation of your second session. Now, problem number three. First and second problem we completed. Now we are doing problem number three. Calculate current ratio as well as quick ratio. What is the formula for current ratio? The formula is current asset divided by current liability. The second one, quick ratio. What is the formula for quick ratio? The formula is, instead of current asset, we have quick asset divided by current liability. Current liability will not change in both the formulas. It will remain same. The thing is, as I told you, you have to remember formulas as well as which are current assets and which are current liabilities. Now, in this stock, debtors, bills receivable, advanced tax, cash. These are called as current asset. How many items are there? One, two, three, four, five. Which are current liabilities? Current liabilities are creditors, bills payable, and bank overdraft. Now, what is the total of this thing? 90,000, 1 lakh, 1 lakh 4, 1 lakh 44,000. What is the total of current liability? The total of current liability, 60 plus 40, 1 lakh, 1 lakh plus 4,000, 1 lakh 4,000. Now, you got current asset also, you got current liability also. We'll go for the solution. Now, current asset, as per our calculation, how much we got? 1,44. Your current asset is 1,44. And your current liability, how much we got? We got 1,4. Now, current ratio formula, current asset divided by current liability. Now, current asset divided by current liability, what is your answer? 1.38 divided by 1. You can also call it as 1.38 is to 1. As I told you, your denominator R base always should be 1. Now, quick ratio. What is the difference between current ratio as well as quick ratio? The thing is, in the current asset, we will not consider, I'll go back. These are your current assets. In this, we will not consider stock we will not consider anything which is prepaid or advanced. Now, how much you got? 1,44. Out of 1,44, if I cancel 50,000, if I cancel 4,000, means 54,000. 1,44 minus 54, how much you will get? 90,000. Your total quick asset is 90,000. Current liability already calculated, it is 1,4,000. If you divide your answer, 0 0.87 divided by 1. 1 is the denominator always 1 and I also can call it as 0 0.87 is to 1. This is your 6 mark problem. We'll go for the last problem on liquidity ratio RLs your current as well as quick ratio. Now, from the following particular, calculate current ratio and quick ratio. I'll give you time. You only identify which are current assets and which are current liability. In this problem, they have given easily, simple one they have given. Now, inventory, trade receivable, cash in hand, current investment, up to this, we call it as current assets. Now, 
ट्रेड पेयबल प्रपोज डिविडेंट बैंक ओवर ड्राफ्ट दीज थ्री आर कॉल्ड एस करंट लयाबिलिटी एनीथिंग विच आर पेयबल वी कॉल इट एस करंट लयाबिलिटी नाउ अगेन सेम प्रोसीजर एड ऑल करंट असेट्स अगेन सेम प्रोसीजर एड ऑल करंट लयाबिलिटी नाउ this information for your current ratio what about quick ratio quick ratio same information we consider but we will not consider two things which are those inventory the another name for stock we call it as inventory and one more thing is there anything prepaid in this no prepaid in this we'll go for the solution now see your current asset as we calculated Total current asset two lakh forty thousand. Current liability as we calculated, your current liability sixty thousand. Now two lakh forty divided by sixty plus all three it comes put together three lakh. Two lakh forty divided by three lakh. Your answer is zero point eight divided by one. Every problem is similar. But you have to be familiar with which are current asset and which are current liability. Now we'll go for the quick ratio. Quick ratio, quick asset divided by quick liability. As I told you, only one thing we have to remove in this problem, which is that inventory. Inventory will not belongs to quick asset. Now we have removed inventory. We have considered these three. The total is how much? One lakh twenty. Current liability will change. I will remain same. Yeah. Current liability will remain always same. Now, one lakh twenty divided by three lakh. What is your answer? Zero point four divided by one. Your final answer. You can call it as zero point four is to one. Very simple, but you have to be good with formulas as well as. Identification of current asset and current liability. We'll move for the last problem for the day, and we'll end with this first kind of ratio. Now, in this problem, similarly, I have to calculate current ratio as well as equity ratio. Now, in this, they have given current asset directly. They have given current liability directly. these informations are additional now inventory operating expenses revenue cost and revenue from operation these are not relevant for your calculation current asset they have given current liability is also given in the current asset always remember inventory is already included inventory is already included now what is your current asset 35 what is your current liability 17.5 what is your formula current asset divided by current liability means 35000 divided by 17500 we'll see the answer now 35 divided by 17500 what is your answer 2 is to 1 easy next your quick ratio Again, I'll go back for the question. Current asset how much? Thirty-five. Which are the things we can minus for quick ratio? Two things. One is inventory, and the second one is what all prepaid are advances. In this, we have we don't have any prepaid, but we have only inventory. Thirty-five minus fifteen. How much you will get? You will get twenty. Thousand. What is your quick asset now? Twenty thousand. Now, your quick asset is twenty thousand, and your liability it remains same seventeen five hundred. Your answer is one point one four is to one. These are the problems on your first type of ratio that is called liquidity ratio. On liquidity ratio, you will get only six mark problem. There is a compulsory one in the third main part C. You will get one question. Simple numbers will be given. Simple concept will be given. Only you have to do two ratios: current ratio and quick ratio. 
whatever problems you have done similar on the same basis you will get problem for your exam also. In the next session we will go for the second type of ratio. Thank you.